let's say that we want to select everyone from China. So we have China right here and let's say Brazil and then France. So we could write a SQL like this. So select and then star from and then person where and then country of birth equals to China or in fact, let me put this on a new line. So or country of birth equals to France. And finally, or country of birth equals to Brazil. And if I press enter, you can see that we get everyone from China, France and Brazil only. So this was actually a lot of code just to include China, France and Brazil. And you can see that we are duplicating country of birth three times. So one there, another one here and another one there. So to improve on this, we can use the in keyword. So in keyword takes an array of values and then returns a query matching those values. So let's go ahead and improve this query with in keyword. So select and then star and then from well, actually, let me put it on this line. So from and then person. And then you can say where country of birth in and within parentheses, this is where you pass your values. So China, Brazil, and finally, France. And this is the exact same thing that we had up here. So right here. So if I press semicolon, run the command and you can see that we get everyone from China, France and Brazil only. So this makes it easy to add other countries, comma, and let's also include Mexico and let's also include Portugal and one more. So let's say Nigeria. If I press enter, there we go. So you can see that we have China, France, Brazil, Mexico, Portugal, and to make this easy, let's go ahead and remove that and say order and then by country of birth and then semicolon enter. Now you can see that we have Brazil and then China. So there's quite a lot of Chinese in this um, table and then France and Mexico right here. And then you can see Nigeria. So only a few people from Nigeria and then Portugal. This is all for this video. Join me in the next one. See ya.